I've been obsessed with sharpness and resolution. And for what? <laughs> My name is David Patton. When I started photography, I wanted to make art. I wanted to be a landscape photographer. But with a family to feed and bills to pay, I decided it would be better to be a working photographer than a starving artist. So I took a job as a photojournalist. 25 years and thousands of assignments later, it was time to go back to my first love. It was time to follow my passion. Come along on my journey to become the best black and white photographer I can be. Whether it be film or digital, I will be sharing what I learned through my successes and my failures in hopes to inspire and educate. This is my journey. This is right in the edge. Since I started shooting film, again, it's become more clear to me that uh, I have an obsession with sharpness and resolution. I'm one of those guys that seems to be zooming in past 100, 200% looking at my files. And I start wondering why? <laughs> why am I doing that? Film has kind of cured me of that a little bit. You start zooming in with film and all you're going to see is grain. There's really nothing gained from that much magnification on the computer screen. And I started thinking, well, why, why is it that it's important that, that minute difference in sharpness or resolution that I'm looking for? Why is that even important? Nobody will ever see it, even in large prints. <laughs> I don't know why I've uh, been kind of sucked into this uh, this whole thinking that everything has got to be at the maximum sharpness. You've got to use the sharpest aperture. You've got to use high resolution sensors. When I'm stopping my lens down to f16, and in, in the print sizes I make, I don't see the difference. <laughs> Why am I so uh, worried about something like that? What is enough? What is enough sharpness? What's acceptable? What is acceptable resolution? I once saw a guy so obsessed with sharpness that he was focus stacking a landscape image at f4 and like using like 10 frames like that was going to give him so much more sharpness <laughs> i just that just seems a little bit overkill to me i've never gone to that extreme i'm not really a big fan of focus stacking just because maybe i'm lazy but my uh 20 millimeter really has excellent depth of field. I haven't really found the need to do that unless I'm just really getting really close on something. And there are times where I'd rather the background not be as sharp as the foreground, especially if I'm really emphasizing what's on the, in the foreground. But there are times, very seldom, but there are times when I will focus stack to get enough depth of field. And that's just to get sharpness from front to back. But overall, it's not just to get a sharper image. It's just to get sharpness where I want it. I don't remember if I said why I'm shooting digital today. As the last few months, I've been shooting mostly film with my medium format camera. We've just recently moved in all my darkroom, my developing supplies are all packed away. It's going to be a little while before I can get all that sorted out. It's been a really busy summer and last month or two trying to sell our house and, and get moved. 
the good news is we're moved. We are sold the house and uh, should have a little bit more time for some photography, some videos. If you, uh, <laughs> if that's important to you, it's important to me. And then I'm really drawn to these, these rocks along the creek here. I really like the texture around this of them. Really, I think these shots I'm taking in here are, are really all about the, uh, the rocks. Not so much about the water. I've seen tests done on the internet, on the YouTube channel, YouTube channels, where they'll take various size sensors, enlarge them really big, and make a big, they'll just make a crop and give, do an 8x10 printout of the crop and say, look, there is a difference. Well, <laughs> if you're judging it by an 8x10 printout that you're holding inches from your face, yeah, you'll, you'll see a difference. <laughs> but if you actually look at the, uh, the image at its full size, you won't be standing 12 inches away from it to look at the image. So you probably won't see that much of a difference. Another thing about judging sharpness or resolution, we don't look at images side by side in the real world. An image is sitting there by itself on its own merit. If it looks sharp enough, it's sharp enough. We don't set two images side by side and say, oh, it's not quite as sharp as the other one. It just doesn't work that way. We need to uh, stop falling for that marketing hype. I think that's where it comes from. Camera makers are wanting to make money. I get it. They've kind of got themselves in the, a pickle now. They, <laughs> they're trying to convince you that this one lens resolves so much better than the other. And if you magnify it 500% and look at the writing on some, some uh, sample image, you'll see slightly slightly sharper image. But in the real world, you'd never see it. <laughs> you'd never notice it. And since when has sharpness become the uh, how we judge photographs I would think composition I would think the emotional response to the image would be much more important than this one's slightly sharper than this one here this one has slightly more detail than this one here I'm I'm as guilty as anybody. I I have fallen into that that uh, that trap of analyzing everything for sharpness. I've done my tests to see where diffraction enters into my lenses. And yes, there's a difference, but it's so small. They're just it's just not worth worrying about in most cases. At least for my lenses. Now yours, your mileage may vary. I actually did a test a few months ago, maybe six months ago, and I made a video about it of testing to see how my lenses, how diffraction affects my lenses at f11 and f16. And I was worried that the sharpness. I'd be losing enough so much sharpness that f16 would be kind of useless because I've been using f16 quite a bit on a few of my lenses. And what I found was, yeah, there was a little difference, but a little unsharp mask, and it really didn't look that different. And the difference was so small to me visually that it really wasn't worth worrying about. And that was just with my lenses. Three, I just tested three of my most used primes. You realize that I was obsessing about something that really didn't need to obsess about. 
I actually pulled down the video because I just didn't want to um, my channel to be about uh, geeking out over resolution and sharpness. When I talk about judging sharpness, I'm talking about looking at the image, the minute sharpness, obsessing over the little details. I'm not talking about out of focus, missed focus. I mean, that's pretty obvious. If it's if it's the focus is missed or it's out of focus, um, motion blur, that kind of thing. That uh, that will be pretty noticeable no matter what, even a smaller size. I'm talking about the minute details, the 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 stuff that you have to zoom in like 200% to see. And then, then you, you think you see it, but <laughs> no one's going to ever notice. No one's going to ever be able to say, uh, it would have been slightly sharper if you had just used F8. Kind of like this fern back here. Kind of uh, bracketing my uh, depth of field, though. Not for sharpness, but for uh, background blur. And try to balance the background blur with the uh, the subject subject sharpness. I've got old lenses like this 105 here. I know it's not as sharp as a modern lens. It's just old manual focus lens, but I really like using it. And the images I get from it are sharp enough. If I was to compare it side by side with another lens, there would probably be a difference. But my images aren't going to be compared side by side. I think I'm actually enjoying my photography more now that I don't, I'm not obsessing so much over stuff that people really can't see anyway. I feel a little freer. So as far as obsessing over sharpness, in resolution, those little things that don't really make that big a difference in my photography. I'm going to work harder on, on not uh, obsessing on the, over the little things like that. Focus, focus more on the big picture, on the full frame. I think I'm going to be much happier in the end. I think we all as photographers need to figure out what that level is for us. How sharp is sharp enough? How much resolution is enough? I think we're going to be much happier in the end if we, if we can come to terms with those things. Is it really that important that we can zoom in to three or four hundred percent and say, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> if you're shooting film, you know very well that uh, that's not going to uh, be very fruitful. So I'm going to leave you with that thought today. So I'm going to end today's video right here. Until next time, thanks for coming along for the ride.